Hello fellow contractors. We want to talk about the VME and VMB starter package. So we're going to exclusively talk about that package. So in this demonstration, we have two T-handle setups. The starter package only comes with one T-handle package setup. So we wanted to make you aware of that. So first we want to show you how to set up each one of these units. With the electrical unit, it's gonna come with that 50 foot electrical cord. You're gonna simply plug that in. So it has this little device here. You're gonna wrap it around, hook it in. That way it doesn't pull out of your plug every time you exceed a limit or an area. And once you get it plugged in, whether it be into an outlet or a generator, we are then gonna work on hooking up our hoses. So the five foot, which is the longer hose here, the gray one is gonna hook from your vacuum to the implement, whether it be the Ergo XL or the T-handle setup. So we're gonna plug that into the top of the vacuum. You're gonna just wiggle that back in, nice and easy. Now this is gonna to go to one side of the relief valve, which is this unit here. Out of that relief valve is then gonna go with your black hose. This is four foot in length. So a four foot hose, a little bit shorter. You can wrap that around just so it keeps it snug. All right, push that on. For the different pads, you can either do your six by six, your 10 by 10, or your six and a half by 13. So you can adjust that by taking off these knobs and putting it onto your different pads. So we just wanted to confirm when using the VacMax, whether it be electric or battery, when you are hooking up the pads, whether you purchased extra pads or you already have some existing pads you've used with the Venturi option, we wanna make sure that we do not have the compressor assisted port in here. We will simply unscrew that either using an adjustable, a wrench or a socket you will not be able to do this by hand. I simply already loosened this, but this will come out. We do not want to restrict the airflow with the high flow vacuum. You will not be able to pick your porous products. And with the T-handle setup, with all that being said, you're able to put that on your back. All right. You have a couple straps here. Make it so that it can be a little bit tighter around your waist. So you can strap that up. You have a chest strap as well. So you can adjust that up. It kind of alleviates the, this one here alleviates your back from holding the weight of the vacuum, which is very nice. And then your on and off button is on this side. You turn it on. Okay, section down, pick it up relief valve so obviously with a smaller paver suction down pick it up set it down release the relief valve down pick it up set it down release so set up with the electric to the t-handle is going to be exactly the same for the battery other than you are going to have to obviously plug in your batteries now with the backpack and the batteries, you wanna make sure that you're putting both batteries on. You're not gonna get away with just having one battery hooked up to it. You do need both. We have two batteries on both sides. Gonna make sure that both of those are plugged all the way in. Okay, all the way in. Now this unit here is up and ready to go. Another crucial part about the battery unit is these will draw some power over a time span. So you wanna make sure that if you are not using this unit, that you just take the batteries off of the unit just by a little bit, just so it's not drawing that power when you're not using it. When you're hooking this unit up to the Ergo XL, again, gray hose is gonna go from the top of your backpack into your relief valve. Your black four foot hose is gonna go from the relief valve down to the pad. With the Ergo XL, same exact thing. You have your relief valve that's gonna turn on and off your air. Again, making sure those batteries are locked on. In this application, we have it set up with the Ergo XL. Turn on your vacuum, suction down, pick up, set down. Relief valve's gonna open the air, set it down on the product, 
pick it up, set it down. So now we're gonna take our backpack and we're gonna put it in the caddy, 110 degrees out. I don't wanna wear it on your back. This is the option here. So we'll take the hose out of the unit there, five foot hose. Now there's a little slot in the bottom. We're gonna take that, we're gonna slide that over top of the caddy here. Now we can take these and intermingle them to get those out of the way. And even take this here and plug it into itself. Okay, so just wrapped it up, kind of tied it into itself. You don't want obviously these to get caught in, all right, the wheels. So we can do that, twist it up a little bit so that it can roam freely and you're not worried about that. Now we're gonna take our 15 foot hose, 90 end goes on the top of the vacuum. We're gonna plug that in. All right, this unit here is gonna go over to our T handle or your Ergo XL, you can do either obviously. And plug that right in. All right, turn our vacuum on. Okay, now we're up and running. Right, and the nice part about the six and a half by 13 pad, really common paver right now is the three piece system. We'll work with the most three piece systems. Okay. And another feature I like about our T handle is it has a little T handle down the bottom as well. So if you are picking off of a pallet, or you're having to haul a paver a long ways, you can carry it on your side and bring it around the job site. So for both electric and battery, you do wanna keep in mind, it is 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Do not turn off the vacuum, but let that air circulate through the vacuum. That's how it cools itself. Otherwise it will overheat. If it does overheat, it will shut off for about 20 minutes to a half hour, depending on how hot the unit is. There is a sensor in it. It will not burn up the motor, but it will delay you by 20 to a half hour. Now with the Ergo XL, the nice part about this is you are able to adjust the height of the handles. Whether you are pulling off of a pallet and you don't want to be up here like this, you can adjust that so you are a little bit lower. To do that, you're gonna simply pull this pin out, adjust your handle to the height that you want it at, desired height, put that pin back in, lock it in, and you're good to go. Another thing which is neat about the Ergo XL is you are able to pull the bottom pin here. So you can take a look here, we'll pull that bottom pin Once you pull that bottom pin out, you are able to pick product vertically. So if we were to take this pad, we were to put it vertically, you can still pick it with two people. A lot of your larger products do come upright. This is great for larger products. So we wanted to make sure we integrated this setup into it, being able to pick that vertical. We do have holes on either side. So you can put a rod down through these holes here and then you can lay the product down horizontally, nice and easy. Or if you are picking vertical, you can actually lock it vertical as well. You can take this pin, you can slide it in. Now you're automatically locked into always picking vertical. And again, you'll pull both of these pins then to swap out the pad size. And you can see behind me the different options that you can use for the pads. Again. We also love to hear from you guys. So make sure you call us if you have any questions on this unit. And that number is 860-870-8665. Don't be afraid to reach out. We love to work with you. We love to help you. Thank you.